Field of view is one of the game settings that people usually don't understand. Even if you know some things about it, like horizontal 4x3 or 16x9, it's all just a fraction of what is really going on. First of all, what is field of view? It is an angle of how much you can see the world around you. When you look directly at the picture, it should be represented with these straight lines. How does it work? If image size will be locked, width and height will not change at any point, the only thing that will change is that angle. With low FOV, the image will be zoomed in, you will see less things around you, but it will be easier to aim because objects will be bigger. You may feel that your movement speed is slower, your frame rate will also increase as the game will show less. With high field of view, the image will be zoomed out, you will see more around you, but it will be harder to aim because objects will become smaller. You may feel that your movement speed is faster, your frame rate will also decrease as the game will show more. The biggest problem with field of view is, most of the time, you don't know what you are changing. Yes, you have a dedicated setting, but 90 in one game can feel completely different in another. That is because games use different FOV types and as a result, different angle. It can be horizontal, it can be vertical, it can even be diagonal. So when you talk about field of view, you must specify what type it is. And this is where confusion starts. Some people think that if you change horizontal FOV, vertical will stay the same. This is not how field of view works normally. It doesn't matter what type the game uses, it will change vertical and horizontal angles at the same time, but only one of them will be the major one. Usually it will have the number you see in the game settings. Still, there are exceptions like Armor 3. You can add horizontal and vertical FOVs separately, but those games are really rare. Like I said, games use different FOV types, 4 to be exact. Yes, other types can exist like diagonal, but games don't usually use those. First one is vertical. It means game will use image height to calculate FOV and it will control vertical angle. Next one is horizontal. It means the game will use width to calculate FOV and it will control horizontal angle. Third one is horizontal 4x3. This is where things start to be complicated. Game will use height, but it will multiply it by 4 and divide by 3. In short, it will find 4x3 equivalent of current width and use angle based on it. This is why it's called horizontal 4x3. Fourth one is horizontal 16x9. Same thing here. Game will use height, but it will multiply it by 16 and divide by 9. It will control 16 by 9 equivalent of horizontal angle. You can see that horizontal and horizontal 16 by 9 are the same. That's because the image aspect ratio is already 16 by 9. This is the reason why some people think that there are only three types. Depending on aspect ratio, FOV types can be identical. Notice that vertical, horizontal 4x3 and 16x9 have the same sizes on different aspect ratios. This is visual representation of converting vertical to other types. It will be the same if you use horizontal 4x3 as the base or 16x9, because they use height. It will look completely different if you use horizontal as the base, because it uses width. However, this is just a picture. How can you do this using numbers? You will need to convert one type to another using these formulas. Here's an example of converting 90 vertical. In 16x9 images, it will become 121 horizontal. Horizontal 4x3, 106. It will be smaller compared to true horizontal, just like I showed in the picture. 
horizontal 16 by 9 will be 121 again, just like I showed. You need to round up converted numbers. I prefer to round three decimals, but remember, sometimes games will not allow you to use precise numbers, and you don't really need to. Converting 90 vertical in 8x5 images will result in different number for horizontal, just as in other aspect ratios. But knowing type is not enough, you need to know three more things. First, how the game measures angle because it can be done in degrees and radians. Degrees are normally seen in game settings. Radians sometimes can be seen in configuration files or in memory editing tools. It doesn't really matter, they are the same, just look a bit different. 90 degrees will be 1.57 radians. Second, it is important how you change the values used by the game, what tool or way you use. You can do that inside the game by editing files or hacking into the game's memory. Depending on how you do that, you may use different field of view type. For example, in the long dark, if you change value inside the game, you will control horizontal FOV, but if you use memory editing, you will control vertical. Third, how the game calculates FOV based on values you put in. Game Void Bastards uses vertical time. I want 90 FOV. That means I need to set in-game value to 90. The value you control in the game is field of view. Some games are not that simple. Call of Cthulhu released in 2018 uses horizontal type. To match 90 vertical in this game, I need to use 116 horizontal, because I use 8x5 aspect ratio. You can't really see what you're putting in the game, so using memory editing you can find it out. It's 36. To get 116 horizontal on 8x5 aspect ratio, you need to set value to 36. That's because in memory, game takes the value you put in and adds 80 to it. This is how this game calculates field of view. Or for example, Dipro Galactic. It uses vertical type. I want 90 vertical. I need to put 90 inside the game. Not really. I need to put 131. Because game multiplies the value you put in by 0.68. How do I know this? First, you will not identify the field of view type using in-game value but you will by looking into memory. Does this mean the in-game value uses really weird type, like horizontal 29 by 20? No, because of the second thing. If you set value to 80 in the game, in memory it will be 55. 55 divided by 80 is 0 0.68. If you set value to 120, in memory it will be 82.5. 82.5 divided by 120 is 0 0.68. No matter the numbers you will use, memory divided by in-game value will always be 0 0.68, because this is a constant variable, it cannot be a new type. But the best example is in Hitman Contracts. Game uses horizontal type. Again, I want 116 horizontal. I need to use this value. Can you guess what calculations are done? Value multiplied by 2, octane, tank 26.5 multiplied by width and divided by height. Why this game uses such a complicated formula? Well, you cannot really change field of view, you need to use modification. But still, it has a bit strange calculation. First of all, vertical FOV is locked to 53. That means horizontal will be different depending on your aspect ratio. Modification will allow you to affect it with a multiplier. This means you need to convert 53 vertical to your own horizontal and only then use the multiplier. This conversion is the main reason why formula is so complicated, but it's needed. It will allow you to control horizontal FOV no matter what aspect ratio you have. Knowing a way to change field of view, type, 
calculation formula and value will help set FOV you want. The problem is, games can have multiple variables for multiple situations. You might already encounter games that use separate field of view when you aim using weapons. Or games that have FOV for first-person view models. In the game The Long Dark, however, you have one angle for general view, one when you get inside the vehicle, and another during cutscenes. Usually games will allow you to change on the main field of view in the settings. Now when you know everything, it's time to answer the question what field of view angle you should use. It doesn't really matter as long as you feel comfortable playing the game. But remember, it will affect your FPS, aim and the feel of movement. Personally, I go for 120 horizontal on 8x5 aspect ratio. Next question is, is it even worth to keep field of view the same across all games? Probably not. A lot of games will not let you change it to what you want, and even if you do, you will see visual glitches. This is again all up to you.